everyone, Jolie here with another holiday card for you. This one involves using your silhouette cutting machine to create a little tree silhouette. And then I'm going to use the 6x6 paper pad with some fun Christmas uh, themed patterns to create each layer for my tree. I'm also going to use two different tones of cardstock as my card bases. So let's get right into it. First, I'm going to take the two layers that I created in Silhouette Studio and I'm going to adhere them together and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to take my pattern papers that I've cut into little strips here. They're about a half inch wide and I'm going to glue the two ends of um, each square or rectangle that I have and put a piece of pattern paper in between. Some of them, depending on uh, what pattern you choose, you can have it feature a certain element, like this hole right here. I'm going to have two little reindeer heads popping through. And then on other ones, I might have an ornament or a flower. I haven't really decided, but I'm just going to play around with some coordinating papers from a 6x6 six six pad and see what I come up with. So as I go, I'm just trying to center the pattern in each rectangle. And I also try my best not to have the same color twice in, uh, in a row. So as you can see, I'm alternating reds and greens and then a few white patterns with, um, with floral print as well. And then I'm adhering the whole thing down to a um, coordinating cardstock. So I created two different cards, one with a little darker cracked brown and another one with a lighter. And this is a glitter paper that I had just a scratch sheet of and I'm punching it with a star punch that's also a half inch wide. And I adhered those down with a foam dimensional adhesive. Now for the bottom of the tree, I didn't really have anything that would create a trunk. So I decided to just create a small mask out of some regular um, cardstock here. It's just a piece of scrap paper that I wanted to try and make just a little whimsical. So I cut out uh, three sides of the paper to create this trunk as a little mask and I'm going to be using some distress ink here and a little sponge dabber to get the trunk shown on my card. And there it is. I did the same thing for the other card as well. Now for my sentiment, I just wanted something simple and easy, so I chose Season's Greetings to go at the bottom of my cards. So here I'm just using white embossing powder and I'm setting it with my heat gun. And I'll trim it down and create a little banner that's going to go at the bottom of my card. And this is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed. A uh, super simple, easy card to make. I've included the template for this card over on my blog, so feel free to check that out. And I will catch you guys next time for another card. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later. Bye.